most auspicious trans uh, transit, Saturn transit, very, very powerful, most intense. All of you have a chart. It tells you who will be affected, who won't be affected. We don't want to give you the depth of it because it will bother some of you. But major information is who will be affected, who will not be affected as much. Mithuna, I'll just give you one. Mithuna. Any of you with Mithuna Rasi, be very careful. Uh, two and a half years it will go on. I'll tell you what it can do to mitigate. What's the use of telling you who will be affected, who won't be affected? We have to share with you how you can mitigate. Can that be mitigated? mitigated? Yes, it can be mitigated. The whole concept of Braha, uh, the Saturn inside us is affected. Saturn, the microcosmic Saturn, gives you the major effect. But the microcosmic Saturn in us shows the effect, depending on how uh, positive, how negative, uh, you get the effect. But trust me, among all the planets, I've gone through all of it. Uh, Saturn, you have to be very careful. And certain negative things happen during the period of the of year. And I've seen it consistently in everyone I know. You cannot escape. So please follow the mitigating effect, mitigating uh, aspects. First, why it is so important? Why Saturn is that important? Astronomically, it's a very dense, it's the densest planet. So naturally, it will have the most effect. And the density in us, Saturn, affects us. And he is in charge of our ascension, our growth, our uh, relief from the enslavement. Saturn does a lot. How does it do it? It gives you many, many, I would say, tests or examinations. You go through that. And the major examiner, all the planets are examiners. That's why we come with the planetary effect and we pass through the planetary effect. As we complete it, that particular defect hopefully will be corrected because of certain things we do. Uh, so that's the reason why Saturn is the most powerful in that sense. He is a punisher. They will say he's a punisher. The word is used in a positive uh, manner, meaning he will test you. He will make you go through the exam and pass the exam if you do certain things properly. So naturally an examiner uh, is a terrible person because he examines you and he tests you. And those tests are very hard tests. I won't go into the depth of these because I just came out of the most period. So I can say, I'm just coming out of it, because there are two uh, days, today and 23rd, the through two panchango, uh, according to uh, Rishis, this is Rishi panchango. Today is the transit. I follow Rishi panchango. All my rituals follow through Rishi panchango. And I guess the above one sitting, standing in front of me. So I think of you today for relieving me. And it takes about a month or two before the effect manifests, both ways. It doesn't, see, these planets don't move, jump from one to other. They gradually move, so the effect might take a month or two, depending on, uh, and the other, there are many other factors. Uh, astrology is very complex. Jupiter, Jupiter and uh, Saturn, they are moved together. Uh, if your Jupiter is not properly placed, your good Saturn may not be very helpful. See, for me, Saturn has moved uh, to a very auspicious place. Ninth house, we are giving the number. Four, seven, ten. These three positions from the first uh, house, they are, not, they are not good. They are either Kandagashani or Ashtamathasani. These, so if you look at most of the houses, it is not positive. Even if you take uh, ninth house positive, eleventh house is positive, Take me, for example, my ninth house now, beginning today. But the Jupiter is an eighth house for me. So that will mitigate, and they go together to some degree. Not a great degree, to some degree. When the Jupiter moves to ninth house, which it will, in the next five, six months, then it will be very good. Till that time, that will hold it down. 
So these are the things that astrologers will tell you. They will say, what is uh, Saturn? What's the effect of Saturn? But they won't tell you there are many, many effects of other planets which affects the Saturn. The Jupiter look forward, or I means the look. The Jupiter look is not positive, that Saturn would not function as positively. Basically, it would function good, that big tragedies may not happen. But, uh, uh, so there are many complexities. It is not Saturn. But by itself, Saturn is the mightiest because he is tester. You have to pass through him, and he would give you, he'll graduate you. So a graduating person, is he a good person or a bad person? It's up to you. If you pass, he's a good person. If you fail, he's not a good person. He's a terrible person. But in this house of hers, Mother has given us all the details, what day, what you should do, all the secretive information the priests know, they will grant you. One thing you should do on Saturday, particularly if you're a Mithuna, all of us should do, Mithuna, be careful, on Saturday, come down, let them do an Abhishekam. See, Abhishekam is important. Next to Homa, Abhishekam is most important. In Homa, you connect Atman to Atman, you invoke Agni, you uh, invoke uh, Swaha Devi, and you say the mantra. All the rituals we do in Homa, the Swaha Devi carries it to, to the ultimate aim. So we do all that. So Homa is very important. So participate in any Homa you can. On property, you will know, the priest will tell you, based on your Rasi, and my certain Homas are very important. But any Homa, you are invoking that deity, you are offering your uh, reverence, all the mantras on our behalf, the priest say, in front of Agni. Agni is a mediator. Then Swaha, every time we say Swaha, we invoke Swaha Devi and ask the priest carry it uh, to the ultimate uh, deity, whoever you invoke, uh, you do the Homa for. So the Homa is the most uh, important. If you have to do something, do Homa. Next most important is Abhishek. Why it's important, if we sat in front of him, they use all this ritualistic uh, material to do Homa. But most important is we, you and I, we thought of him intently. And we said the mantra. If you didn't say it, the priest say, said it on our behalf. So he said the mantra, he invoked him, we honored him, we received him. So during that time, when you offer the Sabhishegam, in this temple, each one of us offered it. Even though you're sitting here, no, you are doing it. That is the fundamental basis in this temple. So each one of us offered it with love, reverence, respect, affection. Those are the one bhakti. Those are the one which connects us. So when you connect yourself deeply in that sense, in that feeling, naturally that power also would be looking at you because she's sitting on top of the whole universe. We are very small one of billions and billions of uh, uh, suns in our galaxy alone. There are billions and billions of galaxies. And she's sitting on top of it. For that energy to connect to us, you can see the enormity of separation. It's a huge separation, unbelievable separation. But in our tradition, the rishis have figured it out. These are the days, these are the rasis, you do certain things. And that energy will look uh, at Earth. And when you are invoking them with either Homa or Abhishekam or simple meditation or simple thought with love and bhakti, that connects to different degrees of connection. You can sit at home and meditate, there's one unit of uh, connection. You come here, do Homa and meditate, it, it's uh, millions and millions of connections. So it's very logical, depending on what, how much you connect ourselves with her, she's connected to you. So today, doing this Abhishekam on a Saturday, on a day of transit, it's a major transit, two and a half years. The reason why people are afraid of Saturn, it's a long two and a half years. Jupiter is one year. Rahul gave okay, through the 18 months. Those are three we do transit. The rest of it, like a, even uh, Sukra, Sun, Moon, very rapid. A few weeks, uh, Mars is six weeks. The rest of them are very, so anything bad, So however bad that period is, 
the shorter, like a one day, one week, one month, you can go away. But two and a half years, sitting there and monitoring you, punishing probably is not the right word, but doing what, what we needed. Because remember, we asked for it. We, in the purest form, after we pass away, become pure, no more density, no more mind, body, intellect, ego, separation. In a purest form, you look and you see, what have I done and what I have not done. And then you judge, we judge. You are the judge, jury, and the criminal. I say criminal as somebody who has not done what they're supposed to do. Ultimate end point is self-realization. That is the ultimate aim. To do that, you go through almost a million life, 840,000 life, uh, Krishna Prabhupada told us, you know. That many times, it repeatedly come. And each time you set your goal, you are the judge, you are the jury, you are the uh, uh, maker. What you need to do is, and to, ha to that function to happen, you have to have a chart, astrological chart. You have to be born in that family, you have to be born on that day, you have to take this course in this life. All this, I use the word script, the story of you. You write your story and you perform. So if you look at it, there is very, it is all very fair. And she, Divine Mother, Mahamasha Mortis, she gives you the ability to persevere. That's very important. People may say, if she's only observing, what is she doing to us? That's a good question. She's only observer, which is what she is. No, she makes us persevere, depending on our ability. She gives the ability to, to persevere. That's the most important thing. Ultimately, whatever you go through is perception. One person may feel it very bad, the one may feel it not so bad. So the perception is ultimate uh, feeling. And that she decides. And the famous thing I always remember, like a card game, when I deal her a card, I deal her a card, same cards, but she will use it better. And that wisdom, that kindness uh, would be given by mother. And that's again based on past karmic uh, effects. So same cards, she will play differently, she will play differently. And that is very important, it's not what the card, cards are given, it will be same, it can't be changed. As soon as you're born, the card is your card and you play the card. But look at this, what she does. She'll make you play it very intelligently. And that is a key point. And that comes from grace. That's the word. Remember the word, grace. Ultimately, she gives the grace. You do all this, we earn it as much as we can. But ultimate end point would be the grace. And the grace is a cumulative effect of many lifetime, whatever lifetime you had. It's a cumulative effect. The grace comes to you. So it's very logical very, very practical, and very acceptable, and uh, very real. So, to do that act, her life to perform, she has to have that family, that time of birth, that planet, it all has to fall. So she watches and she chooses which family she has to come, what day she has to come. See, all very logical. And then, she, once she comes in, Mahamaya comes in. You are completely ignorant. Your total amnesia, meaning we don't remember anything. Maybe some people will glimpses, but mostly it's total. The amnesia is total. Why should it be total? It should be total. If it's not, there is no evolution. You would know what to do. You won't have a thousand lifetime. You'll have only lifetime. You'll do everything right. But look at our uh, the kindness to us. She invites us. She teaches us all this and she gives us the mantra. And essentially she does what Mahamai does in other way. She is Mahamai. She is a revealer. She is a cover. So everything is her ultimately. From her the Trimurtis come and they perform each one does what they're supposed to do. And then all millions and millions of Yakshinis, they start to look full of Yakshinis. So when you come and do the Abhishek of the Homa, it's a thousand fold effect. Because those cosmic energy, millions and millions of them, Yakshinis, Mohinis, Vidyadharas, Kandivar, these are all super sensual. I call them, they're all divine. To me, they're all divine. Even Asuras are divine. They all come from uh, Diti. So all these cosmic energies are divine. One is positive, other one is negative. 
both we need, because without the negative challenge, we would not overcome that asura. What would be the, uh, 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 that asura? Ignorance, horror, violence, jealousy, all this karma, prada, loka, moksha, mata, mantarya, all this fundamental uh, evil, all is in us. Kartikeya killed most of the 99.9%. Uh, sura Patmataraga, Sura, Sima Sura, they're all slain, but a teeny bit, one million of is left behind. Why? This is like a vaccine. It has to be there for us to know them and then make them uh, not to invade us. Even invades us, we use them in a positive way. Even asuras can be used in a positive way. If you see somebody being uh, tortured, you can invoke them to help them. So that, that, that can be done, it's very difficult. Only divine can do that. Human, the highest form, like Maharishis, they can do that. Otherwise, uh, we, are, we are one billionth as energetic as the uh, lowest asura. Because they are mighty, mighty being. All our emotions, they are not like a, they are, they are physical. We give them the physical body. Make them look very horrible, very fearsome. That is what we give them. But the intensity is true. They are very intense, brilliant, brilliant, four powerful than us. So, coming back to the Saturn, so Mithuna people, please come on Saturdays. Tell the, tell the priest to do action for you. That's the least you can do. There are many, many more you can do. I do it every day for Saturn for the past two years. And many, many bad things happen, but you come out of it. And when you come out of it, you got something tangible. Because he went through the fire dome, and he fired dome, and he came out of it. Some people don't, they don't make it. Then the story continues. I made it, and you will all make it because you have you have mother's kindness, mother's grace, divine mother's blessing. Otherwise, you won't be here on this day and hear all this. So most of us don't even think. You know, who thinks of death? Death probably is the most important thing to think about. You never think of death until time comes, we're ready to go. But death should be thought of as much as possible in a positive way. Let's say Mahakali dances in the cremation ground. Why does he dance in the cremation ground? Most powerful deity. Because she knows that time we need her support, her advice, uh, as she behind us. So that's why she dances there at the time of transit. Because ultimately the transition is temporary. You move from one house to another house. So it's temporary. I think, but during that time you go through uh, very, great difficulty. That's why if you read the Garuda Purana, Mahavishnu will tell Garuda, this is what you're going to happen to you now. From the time you shed the shell, what you're going to go through. And uh, Vedas don't even talk about those things. There are certain uh, Egyptians have one called Book of uh, Death, Napolis have one Book of Death. There they explain to you what happens one minute after death one hour after death, one day after death, all those secretive information. And if you read that, it's very scary. I'm talking about after the transition. But if you know what you should do, the first thing you should do today, every day, think of your Pitrus. When you come to the temple, first thing you think of your mother, father, grandfather, grandfather, great, great, three generations you think of, there's a meaning behind it. Because they're all waiting for our help in their travel to Vedanta. And we, they need our help, but they don't have any help, only our thought. So whatever we think kindly, so today you think of it. That's all they expect. And that helps them to, in their travel, which is a very lonely travel. But then they, they go with total nakedness. There is no farming effect, nothing. You exhausted everything, and you're going empty, and then you have to travel. So you, you think of it. any function, particularly a place like that when you come, they, they, they feel so pleased you thought of them. And he gave them that great gift in front of Mother. And this temple, as you know, is not like a regular temple. Everything is very alive here. Uh, as time goes on, you, you'll feel them, you'll see them, and they'll talk to you. This is a live Kundalini temple. All the Kundalini effects are very active here. And Saturn is very important. And another thing you should do, these are all little pointers I'm giving you at the time of difficulty due to Saturn, think of uh, Anjaneya. Mythologically, Anjaneya controlled uh, 
pain and sad. So you don't don't punish my uh, uh, people who worship me, who think of me at the time of trouble. So think of Anjaneya. Ayappa is another cosmic energy helps during the difficult time due to Saturn. So think of this this uh, energy Jupiter helps too. So many many of this uh, cosmic energy you think of when you have difficult time and it happens to be due to Saturn. If you know it, think of Anjaneya and do uh, Chalisa. Whatever you can think of Anjaneya, Ayappa. There are many other uh, cosmic energies which help. Most importantly, on Saturday, come and do a simple lakshana. And what does uh, the Saturn sitting there? It doesn't need it. But Saturn sitting inside you would be harmonized. So on that day, if you do it, you get extra energy. It's a defense for you. It's an easy thing to do. Particularly if you're a Mithuna, it's a, it's a worst period. It's worst period. Every Saturday, if you don't come, just sit at home. And uh, chant mantra. They have uh, the ability priest will give you a simple mantra. Uh, and think of that, uh, and that helps. And the benefit you receive is huge. And I went through that. Uh, each one of us go through three times in the lifetime. You go through uh, ashtama eight times, eight houses Saturn, ashtama three times. But if you look at Saturn, almost all the houses, it's not totally positive. Uh, the totally positive one may be eleven houses. Uh, six, seven, uh, four, seven, ten are bad. Eight is bad. Other ones are partly bad. So why is it almost all the houses is bad? Because he's examiner. And what would examiner do? He'll examine you. He'll question you. He'll test you. That's the uh, that's the destiny of Saturn. Saturn is a very mighty, mighty, planet, very, very energetic, dense planet. And the deity effect is very intense throughout the life. Saturn is very intense. And the punishes. Uh, and the punishment is very severe sometimes. But I won't go into the depth what all can happen. But you'll figure it out, you'll find out, your astrologer will tell you. And astrologers usually won't be able to tell you the, the exact effect. Because all the planets have influence. And one planet may be good, but other ones will be looking at it are we draining from that. So it's very difficult to know the end point, the end effect of all the interactions of all the planets. The astrology must be extremely good, extremely knowledgeable. More than that, you should have ability to communicate on the other side. And they are more like Siddhas, not just pure astrologers. Pure astrologers can tell you general uh, trend during this time you have this period happen. Exactly minor thing they cannot. So what you do, you come and make Saturn your front, our front. How do I do that? I in my prayer I invoke Saturn every day. But Saturdays I come and I do the special uh, uh, homa if we can. We don't do homa on every Saturday, but we do uh, Abhishekam on many Saturdays. And we do puja. Puja is a, a beginning. That alone may be enough. But if you can do homas, they will do it for you. If you have a bad period, people in Mithuna having bad time, I will do homa once a month or something. They will do private homa for you if you ask them to do it. So you can tell particularly if the effect is manifesting and it's intense health related or something, you can come and have to do homa. But only simply come on Saturday and invoke Saturn. Say that mantra, very simple mantra. They will give it to you. Uh, one, one line. Uh, again, uh, the connection. You thought of him, you show your love, your reverence, your affection. It's affectionate even though he's a punisher. He does his job. And I don't think he enjoys doing that. But that's his function. He has to do that. So if you look at it that way, he becomes friendly to you. Uh, I went through many, many challenges. But challenges in a different way. Challenges may be human related. Challenges may be environment related. Challenges may be health related. But there are other challenges you don't even know. Those are all cosmic level, not only human level. And if you want to go in that world, you have to know them, you have to contend with them. And that is difficult. For that, only Divine Mother can help. So to me, because I come and do all these things, so in return, she protects me. 
she uh, tells me to watch for this, watch for that, and I know it uh, beforehand, and I take precautions. But all of you, you are uh, uh, children, you're blessed to be here on this day. She even given you two, two transits, one today and one on 23rd. Those of you who have family or somebody who you want to come, you tell them to come on Thursday. Is that a Thursday? Uh, yes, Doc. 23rd. 23rd. They do the morning and the evening both. So they can come and participate. The slight uh, difference, the nine day uh, difference. And uh, Agastya Bhagavan is a Rishi uh, for our other Rishis are here. He is looking, when I, when I look at him, I see Loba Mutra. Loba Mutra is a great Rishi, Maharishi, uh, same level. So she has given us all the needed things for Swamitra. All the Rishis are here. And when we do Homa, we invoke them. Uh, and that's very important because these rishis, the Sapta rishis, they are divine, they are not even human. But they came as human so that we can relate to them. There will be some connection between us and that rishi. He was born as a human for our sake. Akastya Maharishi is a, a divine person. Uh, 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 Vashishtha, next to him, Vashishtha is his brother. They were the sons of Urus. Urus is divine. Uh, cost the money. Devata. Devata. Tell me when, is it, when they are done. They need 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, okay. Yeah, 10 more minutes. Up. So think of all that and uh, think of that. Saturn is a very important, uh, important plan. But Rahu and Ketu, uh, watch them. You, they will be with you for a year and a half, positive or negative. They are very intense planet. And you see, astrology people say, how can planets affect you? They're sitting billions and trillion miles away from us. They affect you because that imprint in you is there, within you. So they influence you, depending on the harmony. If they're harmonious, that means positive, they'll be positive. And they can give you a lot, Ketu and Rahu. And they're not even planets. So how can you say astrology is true? They're not even planets, but you're telling them they have more effect than many planets because they're very intense. And this is the intersection between sun, moon, earth. The path, when they intersect, they create certain power. There's a point of intersection. That is the reason why Rahu and Ketu, even though they are not planets, they have the effect. Again, that tells you it is not the planets which is causing it. It is the planet in you. How can the planet be in you? Everything which exists in the universe is in us. There's nothing exists in the universe which is not in you. Planets, anything. So naturally, it will be in you. And that uh, harmony will cause the effect of astrological effect. And astrology, as you know, is, is very scientific. If you look at it this way, otherwise people say, how can that be? Because it is near there, how can that affect you? They affect you because they in you. Just like mother in you makes you a holy person, makes you evolve, makes you get relief from the imprisonment, eternal imprisonment. The minute you're born, you're in prison. Your memory is gone, all your thought process change. You're totally on your own with your karma. And you develop your own karma. Good or bad. So that's the way it should be. And that is the way it is. But Mahamaya out of kindness, that's why she came there in that other place, temple. Mahamaya, that's Mahamaya. Mahamari, Mahamari, Parashati, they are all same, uh, different aspect, but same vib vibration, all vibratory. Uh, so she has given herself to us in every, herself to the world, in every way. But we are the blessed one to know her in this place where she is installed, and uh, now the construction is going, uh, in a year, hopefully it will be done. It will be the most magnificent temple we've ever seen. The way, the aspect of hers, she is going to bring so that we get to know her. Our Kundalini will be, energy will be very active. All the Kundalini Devatas will be very active in us. There are many Kundalini and Devatas. Already they are here, but it's completed. She has given us every aspect possible, the millions and millions of aspects. She has identified them and put them properly in that form and given it to us. And the humans cannot do that. I can't even begin to think of the complexity of, uh, of what she has. But she has decided, she has done it, and she's given it to the world, not just us. 
This is to protect the world. The temple came for that purpose, protection of the world because of the tragedies which as if we escape and we will continue to escape. That is the aim of this protecting temple. We being following and being part of her, can you imagine how uh, blessed we are to be able to do some function she wants to do to the world and she has made her house for herself. She is building a house. We are invited. So take advantage of it. Particularly this year, whatever you can contribute towards the construction, do it. Even if you don't have any money, don't worry. Just do some service. Something of you, give it and give it during this year. That's the most important year. This will stand for a thousand years. And whatever she does to the world, you will be participating in that. So take advantage of it in any, any capacity. You can never say, I don't have the money, I don't have anything to give. No. I can go and rubber back and make her feel good. That is a service. And when I do that, I think of divine. Do anything nice to anybody else. Any, any life form is her. Do something nice, generous, unselfish, kind, and she takes it and we get it. So there's no reason to say, I cannot afford, I cannot do it. It's a thought process. You have to look at every life form as her. Not just human. I'm talking about every life form is her. So you show kindness, generosity, whatever you can give, share it whatever you can. But those who can afford to be, do something they want to do, exhibition for them, as a permanent part of this temple, do it. This is a chance she gives. Actually the whole drama she created is for us to get a chance. Because we, I was from the beginning, I was involved. That's given. Uh, that's a, I had to do some work and I was chosen for that. But all of you who came afterwards, now is a chance. You have the same chance as I had in the beginning, when she came and said, build me a house, I'll protect the world. You have now. So take advantage of it. Anything, anything you can do. Volunteerism, uh, uh, financial, you know, food, distributing the food, even announcing uh, about the function. Like Guna does every day, he announces the next function. That is a very holy act. If he doesn't, doesn't announce, I would not know on 23rd, there will be another transit of Saturn. How would I know? We do send email, but not everyone gets it. So the person who does it, he gets enormous benefit. That's why I call myself, I'm a mail, mail man, I deliver mail. I'm delivering mail to you right now. Who writes the mail? She. She is communicating with you. What she's telling you, I don't know. I can only know what I tell you. But that has many, many implications. So what she's telling only you and her would know. And she's so personal. She's a personal goddess. And all her agents, including Saturn, are personal. That is the reason why this place is so intense, uh, so powerful, and so beneficial, so meaningful. So and today, he, she's talking to you. He may not know it now. He may know some facts I told you, but that is just a facts. But inside, your Atman to Paramatma, that is very, there's a whole area, a different area. That communication, consciously, you would not know. But subconsciously, in a deeper level, uh, connection between Atman and Paramatma is very intense. And being here on this day, on this city, today is Pushya. No, today is Pushya. No, Pushya is Mother Star. Mother Star is Pushya. Today is Pushya. So all this, only she can decide and give it to you. You cannot determine and come and take it. It's, it's, it's our blessing. Somewhere, sometime, somewhere in eternity, uh, we, are, we are connected to her. And she continues the journey. So, again, coming back to Mithuna, be careful and come Saturday and do that. And others also, because no house is really safe with Saturn. Almost all the houses, they have negative effect. So, and you look at it this way. He's an examiner, he's going to examine. I have to be ready. Do the right thing. The right thing is different. For, for her, it may be different than for me. But my story is my own. What I fail to do is my own. What I have to do is my own. And she gives the ability. In a card game, she tells you, do you do this? When I say she, I'm referring to all the gods, all the cosmic elements. She's the mother of all the gods. So uh, 
they give you the information. Those are divine information. And there are processes you have to go through. The place where you come and do it, to the holy place, you have the ability to access this place. And when you come in, I'll give you one example. We're going to put Dwaja Sam up. You all know what Dwaja Sam up is. You know what Dwaja is. You know what Dwaja is. We are getting it. He's casting it over fifty thousand dollars to put it. Why? Because it's made certain ways, and it's pure granite, and it's energized numerous homes. And what is it? It's a flat, flat pole. You'll see it. In a year, you'll see it. As I'm driving, I have seen it many times. Not with my eyes, with my arm. My Kundalini starts working. I start thinking of Kundalini Devatas, all the centers. I activate them. And then I purify, because there is a bullet period in front of Doya Samoa. There's a Bali Pina. And what Bali, who is the Bali, who is the sacrifice? It's me. I clean myself, all the bad aspects of me. I clean. As I'm driving in, I, I tell myself, at least in our house, I should be clean. Clean not just externally, internally in every way. Have pure thought, kind thought, divine thoughts. At least when I'm coming in to our house. So I'll get more. So there is Dwada Samu, Bali Pina. And Simhavan. All these are very symbolic. The Simhavan is the beastly. He came from beast. The highest beast is lion. Lion is king of beast. So that is me. Now I'm human. I hope I come to your world, which is Devaloka. I'm not there yet, but I'm human. So I evolved from Simha. So I use that as a symbol. You say mother is running on a lion, a tiger. She doesn't need, she's cosmic. She doesn't need anything. But symbolically, we create. King of peace, she writes King of peace. That's all. So, Dwaja Samam will have Bali Piram where I will sacrifice. So, when I come in, I will be pure. At least I will try to have pure thoughts. Simama and Bali Piram. I sacrifice my ego, all my uh, negative thoughts, the jealousy, all the uh, negative aspect of us, which all of us have. If you don't have it, you're not a human. You've become there already. You're not. We will. She will take us. So look at the symbolism of that. We are not wasting money spending that kind of money. It will cost probably hundred thousand dollars to do all of it together. It will be magnificent. But you have to think this way. You have to look at it. You got to think of all this. So I share the information with you. You just don't come look at it. You, th you think of the energy in you. You want to wake them up, and you want to get rid of the evil in you. Be pure, not just taken back in a, in a pure way. So this one example tells you many symbolic things we do, they're very meaningful. If you know why you are doing what, even the homework, everything we do very meaningful. I did not know that before I started doing it. Now when I'm doing it out of, out of our kindness, I get a chance to do that. I see the beauty of the plan, the magnificent plan, she, all the little things. And many rishis are very active here. So we invoke them. So they become participant in that home. Along with the Agni, along with the Swadhi, along with the other Devata. Look, simple act, how much you are done today. She does a lot for us. I mean, it's unbelievable, unimaginable gift she has given us. But you have to think. And of course, any any gift has to give a sacrifice. That part only I said, do something, whatever you can. Financial aspect, many, uh, they are given close to $400,000, probably more. And it's not for them, they don't need it. They want the world to benefit. So if they help in the construction, and that is given to the world, so they do what they can. It's just not everybody can do it, but it's the blessing. She is blessed and she earned the right to do that and she does it. So something you have to give. That is very logical. Which is sacrifice becomes very important. What sacrifice depends on your ability and your destiny too. I have friends who are most of billionaires here in Shia. They are poor, but they haven't thought of giving. See, wealth is wealth if it's given, if it is shared. Otherwise it's not, it's seeing the bank. You may enjoy it to some degree, but they really don't enjoy it. So wealth has to be shared. And where do you share it? Who do you share it with? Yes, you can share it with children. Oh, that's, that's good. 
but sharing with somebody who you don't even know. So many, many times, uh, I'll give it to like a soup kitchen here, soup kitchen there, poor people. We don't even know who is going to. But the thought process, I want to be my brother's keeper, person I don't know, but he has divine in him. And I want to help that. So that concept, you don't even have to know the person. But here, you know exactly what is doing to you, what is doing to your Atman, how pleased Atman will be. So whatever you can, but this year, is, any, any year is good. Any year is a good year, you can do it. But this year will be particularly good because we do need it and we are pushing very close. Uh, a huge amount of money, it's an unimaginable amount of money. So far we have spent 13 million. I was shocked. How did we do that? 13 million. In the past, uh, this, this project will be three, four million dollars. But it's nothing, it's a small thing for something which is benefit the whole world. And you participate in the smallest way you can. One dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars. A kind act, <coughs> volunteerism. You see, you have all the choices. You cannot say you don't have any. So good luck and uh, happy Saturn transit. And whatever you want, please can tell you. But Saturday, come, particularly with Vithuna, come and do this. Thank you. <laughs>